Welcome back Associate Agents. My name is Agent Watkins and I work here for the Trinitarian Investigation Unit where we try to help people get a better understanding of the Trinity. As you can see I'm here in the back office at TRU because somehow I've lost my video camera. There's only me and my cat Moose here so it can't have gone far. Anyway, over the next few weeks we're going to learn a bit more about the Trinity with some of the training videos that we have on file. Today we'll be thinking about the characteristics of God. Now, where is that camera? Every building needs strong foundations. If the foundations are wrong, the house crashes and burns. It's the same with our faith. When it's based on an increasing knowledge of the Bible, it will grow. But when we base it on anything else, then in time we will struggle. The Bible is our ultimate authority, and God uses it to show us something of what he is like. The difficulty is that God is God, and we're nothing like him, and there's nothing in this world that we can or should compare to him. Paul, a man who with God's help wrote several books in the Bible, asked this question. Who can measure the wealth and wisdom and knowledge of God? Who can understand his decisions or explain what he does? The answer is no one. Because no one can fully understand the way God thinks and the plans and purposes that he has. The Bible tells us many things about God. But for today we're going to think about just six of them. Firstly, God is holy. Psalm 29 verse 2 reminds us to worship the Lord because he is holy. This means that there is nothing bad in anything he does. God is always 100% good, free from all wrongdoing, all of the time. In fact, everything God does is perfect. Perfect in his thoughts, perfect in what he does, and perfect in the way he acts towards us which is why we can trust God completely. Secondly, God is sovereign. In the book of 1 Chronicles, David praises God, and he tells us that your power is great and your glory is seen everywhere in heaven and on earth. You are the king of the entire world. That means that God rules over everything. He can do what he likes, when he likes, and with whom he likes. God is all-powerful, he knows everything, and is everywhere all of the time. Even when we don't understand what is happening, God is using his great power and wisdom in working out his plans for the world. God is always in control. Trust in the Lord with all your heart And do not lean upon your own understanding Trust in the Lord with all your heart And do not lean upon your own understanding In all your ways acknowledge Him And He will make your path straight That's Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 Let's hear it, kids. Trust in the Lord with all your heart And do not lean upon your own understanding Trust in the Lord with all your heart And do not lean upon your own understanding In all your ways acknowledge Him And He will make your path straight That's Proverbs 3 Verses 5 and 6 
Help! 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 Get me out of here! Help! Third, God is our provider. Nothing that happens to us happens by chance or luck. It is all planned and shaped by God. God helps us and guides us through the most difficult situations. In fact, Paul tells us that God always does what he plans. We don't always understand that because we can't see the bigger picture of everything that is happening. But God can, and we are safe in his hands. Fourthly, God is good. God is good. He is kind and generous. In the Old Testament book of Exodus, we read that God is merciful and gracious, long-suffering and overflowing in goodness and truth. God isn't some sort of soft touch that we can try to take advantage of. No, God's goodness means he always wants the best for us, even when we don't know it ourselves. Fifthly, God is love. Without God's love, there would be no hope for any of us. His love isn't a soppy romantic love, but a love that was seen most clearly when he gave up his son Jesus to be cruelly killed on a cross for you and for me. In the New Testament book of John, we read that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And finally for now, God is unchangeable. In the Old Testament book of Malachi, God declares that I, the Lord, never change. That means that the God of the Bible is the same God who wants to welcome you and me into his family today. There are many other truths that God reveals to us in the Bible, and we'll discover more over time. For now, these are the truths that will lay a strong foundation for our faith as we move forward. They are six characteristics of God that are good to remember any time. That he is a holy God, who is in control, and because of his goodness and love is ready to guide and help us, whatever our circumstances.